All right, everyone. Well, it looks like the District of Doom will have some sunshine <laughs> because these next few days is going to be pretty cloudy. It's yeah, going to come back out That's then. right. If sunshine is back on Friday. It's going to be cold for Friday night Ooh. football by then, dropping down into the 50s, wow. even some 40s by the end of those games. Get ready. We're going to talk about some cold nights that are up ahead. I think Friday morning, we have the potential of frost and some 30s. Oh, here dear. in East Texas. Yeah. We're going to have to warm up our cars in the morning. Oh, yeah, you definitely will. You're going to need to do that tomorrow, too, because of this colder air that's moving in and the rain chances that will follow. Now, the colder air that we're dealing with, yes, it is going to be cold for us, but it's going to be a lot colder off to the north and northeast. There's the bigger dip in the jet stream, and there are some of the lake effect snow showers happening in the Great Lakes region. Let me show you the temperatures behind this front. 48 Memphis, Kansas City at 38, 27 in Bismarck and the mid 30s back toward portions of Chicago and Detroit and it's supposed to get fairly cold tonight and through the next few nights. As a matter of fact, freeze watch out for a good portion of Tennessee back into Missouri and for sections of Arkansas. Then you get to a freeze warning St. Louis back toward Louisville, Lexington, even up into sections of East Pennsylvania back toward DC. They have freeze warnings that are in effect there couple of spots with a frost advisory heading through the next couple of days. The cold front for us bringing in, yes, some cooler air, but we're also going to get some precipitation as that upper air disturbance begins to move in. That'll help promote a better opportunity for rainfall. I'll uh, check outside from tonight. Notice here from Longview, you can notice some of those clouds passing through, so a partly to a mostly cloudy sky. Right now, 54 Longview behind the front and a wind out of the east northeast close to 10 miles an hour. Other temperatures 60 in Jacksonville, Henderson at 56 the front from Carthage all the way down to Palestine. It's about to clear these areas and will continue to move into deep east Texas. Farther north looking at 40s from Mount Pleasant to Gilmer and Linden at 50. Meanwhile, Hemphill is at a temperature of 60 degrees. Overnight tonight, some spotty showers, mainly north of Interstate 20, but the coverage of rain does pick up heading into early on Wednesday morning. We've got a good bet for some rainfall to occur just before daybreak. Now, the rain initially has been moving west to east, but now we're going to see it move from west to the northwest to the south and southeast. This will bring in more widespread rainfall into East Texas. Notice some of the pockets of orange orange and even some red. That's some moderate to some heavier rain that will pass through by two o'clock. Rain coming down in the deep east Texas could look at a few moderate to heavier showers there by the evening. The intensity of the rainfall is letting up, but I still expect us to have some off and on light showers. Notice future cast painting a few specks of green along with the cloud cover. That means some spotty drizzle is expected to remain with us heading into the day on Thursday. Lots of clouds, couple of morning showers and then on Thursday afternoon clouds begin to decrease. This will set the stage for the frost threat heading into our Friday morning. So these are the temperatures for your Wednesday afternoon. We're down into the 40s and the 50s. Let me show you the lows for Thursday morning and then for Friday. Thursday morning, lower to mid 40s, a couple of upper 30s, but we are left with cloud cover. So there's no frost concern on Thursday morning. It's heading into Friday morning when the clouds clear out. Look at some of the projected lows around 40 for Tyler and Longview, but we've got 30s up in our northern areas and notice perhaps getting closer to the freezing mark. Better chance for some frost, maybe a light freeze up in our northeast areas. What a week that it has been for us and what will take shape toward the end of the week. Rain chances are best tomorrow and Thursday. Look at the temperatures. They rebound going into the weekend back to the low 80s by next Tuesday. Wow, what a fall it will be. Keep up to date with our forecast and the radar at fox51.com. Marcus, thank you very much.